okay and and I had plotted till this point and so I had plotted till this point now I'll try to take it further so so as it slides ahead the the point goes and reaches a peak and then starts falling down and then starts falling down on its way to go down from the reference line right so uh, so the whole thing will be repeated okay so this helps us understand what is oscillation in the first place otherwise it does not look to be oscillating a sinusoidal wave does not look to be oscillating now now see analytically how this is the same thing now the moment I put z is equal to 0 and let t vary in this what is this what does it look like it is e x is equal to e naught sin 0 <coughs> minus omega t which is e naught sin minus omega t which is which is I'll raise this minus e naught sin omega t okay this is minus e naught sin omega t you see that do you see this Do you see this? So this is the plot of minus E naught sin omega t. Minus E naught sin omega t would have gone up and come down and gone like that. Is it not? Minus of that is plus E naught sin omega t would have gone up and down and back like this. The negative of it is, is the reflection of of the of the e naught sin omega t so that's why it has gone down first and then come up later do we see that so we saw how it is oscillating in the first place then we saw what will be the wave like and again the same thing after this one and the same thing if we take the crest first and the trough second. Hmm? We have taken the trough first and the crest second. No, it is because of this negative, no? It is due to this negative. It's an, it's inverted. It, it gets inverted. Correct. So, after omega t is equal to 2 pi, but, but that does not affect its repetition, right? The periods it does not affect. So, after omega t is equal to 2 pi, the wave gets repeated correct so one oscillation this whole thing is one oscillation is it not hmm? this whole thing is the time period is it not this and this is omega t equal to 2 pi is it not so at t equal to from t equal to 0 to t equal to capital T one waveform gets complete Is it not? So this point is what? So at this point, omega t is equal to 2 pi. See, when when the whole thing, when the whole thing is, when the whole thing is one cycle, it has to be 2 pi. For this, when this is equal to 2 pi, one cycle gets completed. Or, or so, so you understand this if this time is t and since I am plotting 
like this then omega t is equal to 2 pi so t is equal to 2 pi upon omega do we see that so this point is actually 2 pi upon omega so omega is equal to 2 pi upon t which is 2 pi into which is 2 pi into one upon t which is two pi into nu you get the point so omega is two pi nu okay omega is two pi nu So we had got lambda is equal to 2 pi upon k, is it not? And omega is equal to 2 pi nu. Now let us try to calculate one more thing. See, in time t, now I have time t, in time t, the wave moves by how much? Lengthwise, this is the length that was moving, right? This is the length of the wave that was moving. So it has completed how much? How much length has it moved in one time period? Two pi by k. One wavelength. That's 2 pi by k. <coughs> so, so I say that the wave moves by the wave moves by one wavelength in time t one wavelength which is lambda in time t and you should see this from here what happens i so 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 this length what are these lengths these lengths are lambda this is lambda i pull it like this one oscillation gone so it has moved by how much see how much this thing was here the black was here now there is red there so it has moved ahead by one wavelength do we see that this is this is one wavelength hmm? and the time it has taken to move I have designated as t so what is the velocity of the wave velocity of the wave is lambda upon t distance upon time that is what the velocity is which is lambda into nu which is nothing but lambda into nu because 1 by t is nu no it is la it is actually lambda into 1 upon t which is lambda into nu so v velocity of the wave is is nu lambda that's another relation that you have already derived when you were in say around class 9th or 10th and you were being taught sound <coughs> so v is equal to nu lambda and what is the v now we are talking about what kind of wave what kind of wave are th this holds good for any any kind of wave okay this holds good for any wave now what wave are we talking about we are talking about an electromagnetic wave what is the speed of the electromagnetic wave in, in vacuum the speed. the speed of light so 
for an electromagnetic wave for an an electromagnetic wave C is equal to nu lambda <coughs> For sound, it will be that, yes. So, for sound in air, in dry air, mm -hmm. if you mean, then yes, it will be 340 meter per second. And it's But, but, but let us try to understand. No, no, no. Let us try to understand that. Sound is not an electromagnetic wave, but, but this thing holds there also. It holds there also. So, you have to find the wavelength, you have to find the frequency, and, and you multiply them. But the concept is the same. There the variation is of, of the pressure or the density of the material. So, so you, you plot that, then you plot it with respect to T and that means how fast it moves, right? So suppose there was, there was a compression here. So suddenly what happens? It, it starts expanding, becomes normal, starts expanding, becomes a rare fraction, starts compressing, becomes normal, starts compressing, becomes compression. So how fast that is happening, that will determine the frequency. Get the point? That determines the frequency. So you have to, so you have, you have to again see the same thing. So you freeze it in time and see the, see the pressure variation with respect to distance. And then, then you, you put, put a, put a stopwatch on and then you see how fast a compression has become a compression back or a rare fraction has become a rare fraction back. That will give you an idea about the time period and hence the frequency. Okay? We understand that. So, 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 uh, the, the oscillation, you should, you should try to understand in a sinusoidal way what we mean by oscillation. Why this has become negative? Okay? Why this has become negative? Because normal, the normal thing when, when you might be studying the wave and oscillation chapter in, in class 11 is that this should have been a positive kind of thing without trying to understand what is happening here. Okay? You understand? Mm -hmm. 